In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a new rainbow loom bracelet, and I'm calling it the Double Cross Single Braid. You're going to need one loom. Um, you're going to need to line it up in a rectangular shape so the pins are even with one another, and we're going to be using these six pins right here today. Um, I've chosen two colors, red and black. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a black band and I'm going to start in the center. I'm going to twist it to make a figure eight and put it diagonally. Next I'm going to take another black band and I'm going to twist that and again put it up diagonally. So the way that the bands are placed they go they like follow each other. The colors follow each other up in a zigzag pattern. Um, so now I want to come back down, so I'm going to take red and I'm going to twist it and put it over the black. Now I'm going to make my way back down, so I came here and I'm going to come back down to here. So you put it on, you twist it, and that's what it looks like. So now we want to do our second row and we're going to follow the same pattern. We're going to start here in the middle with black. So black is always going to be on top of black and red is always going to be on top of red. So you're going to go diagonal up and then you're going to take another black and go diagonal up. So then we want to do red and we want to come back down. So we go from the top down and you always want to keep pushing them back down so you have room to add more and you want to put your last one. So that's what it's going to look like and um, normally when you do a fishtail you have three on but since I'm going to do um, the braid pattern I'm only going to need two rows of each. So as you can see, I'll turn it, I now have two layers on of the red and black. So I'm going to start taking them off in the same order that I put them on so we started in the middle with the black so I'm going to take that off. You always want to take the very bottom and you always want to pull from the outside over the top. So we did from here to here and now we're going to want to take a second black one off because we did from here over to here. There's always going to be um, twice as many bands on the middle layers because they overlap. So now I want to do take the red off. So I start at the top, grab the bottom, pull it over the top. So I went from here to here, so I want to take this one off. And then we went from here to here, so I'm going to take a second one off of here, and then the bottom. And then you want to push it down. Now we're going to add our next level. So we started with black. We're going to follow that up and then the next one. Push it down and then you want to come back down with red. So I want to do that one and this one. So now we're ready to take them off. So you want to do black and black and then another black and black. And then you're going to do red to red, and then we did another one here, red, and red, and then push it down. And just like all the other bracelets that I make, I move the blue connecting piece up so there's a space. So as your bracelet grows, it's just going to work its way down through the middle. So the next layer, again, we're going to start with black. Put it on, push it down, and then another black. And then we're going to do work our way back down. We're going to do red, and then another red. And then once again, we're going to take it off in the same order. So we're going to do black and black, and then a second black and black. 
and then the reds so we did from here to here I'm gonna take that off and then from here to here and then push it down and as you're making the bracelet um, you want to be careful not to overlap the bands as you place them on always keep the top layer on the top and the bottom layers separated that's important to do because if you get them out of order it's going to mess up the bracelet and also as you're doing it um, the straighter that you can keep the bands um, the nicer the bracelet's going to look in the end if your rubber bands are really twisted it's not gonna have as neat of a look to it I mean it'll still work it just won't look quite as nice so I'm just going to keep doing this until I have the length that I want it and then I will show you how to take it off So when your bracelet is long enough and you're ready to take it off, what you want to do is you want to take your hook and you want to get the band, start at the end, get it on your hook, leave it on, pick up your next. Now in the middle, there's actually two bands on the two middle pins. So you want to grab both of them. Make sure you keep both of them because if one of them gets off the hook, it's going to not be good. So you want to do that, hold on to it, and you can go to your next one, pick that up, and you want to loop it through, make sure you make it through both bands. And so now you have one left. I want to put that back on for now. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to grab the one on the end, hold on to it, Pick up the next two. Remember there's two in the middle and you want to make sure you get both both of them to go through. Now you still have the two on your hook. Grab the one on the end and you want to make that go through both. That's very important. So now you have one left you have to grab that we had put back on. Now you can pull this off and you can loop that one through or you can just leave them separate if you want or you can loop one through the other now you want to get your, your S hook or your C clip I have an S hook so I'm going to hook this on here like that we can take it off and now you can see on the end here it's a little bit separated so what you want to do is you just want to grab some of the ones in the middle and just tighten it up and if you want you can even take some of these and loop them through each other to make it a little bit tighter I want to grab the other side from the other side through the C-clip, hook them on, and here's your bracelet. It's got the red braid in the middle with the two black um, chains down the side, and then if you flip it to the other side, it's got reversible, the opposite, it's got black in the middle, and then the two red chains down either side. 